Hey everybody, the Bond guest back. Welcome to part 7 of Let's Play Croc 2. Alright, I did notice that there is like a little bridge over here that I didn't go to. So I decided to redo the stage with the train because beyond here is the switch. And if I don't hit it in time, I fail. But I haven't been up here yet, so let's check that out. Doesn't look like it really matters where you go. Kind of loops, don't you think? Maybe that's what's happening here? Yeah, it definitely is, see? I'm eventually gonna get back on the bridge. Yup, there it is. So now with the key, I should get the last crystal that I missed. And now we can do the Golden Gobbo section. Alright, what is this? Oh. Oh god. I don't know how I feel about this. Might want to be a bit careful, because I think if you try to spin into those enemies, like use your tail whip, the, when their bodies are disappearing, it still counts as collision. Therefore, you gotta be extra careful. Alright, so there we got it. So now we gotta hit the switch. Like so. Perfect! Oh, thanks, Croc! Gobbles were almost goners! Dantinas are so naughty! Aw, oh, they are such rapscallions with their attempted murder and everything. You know, they kidnap you and then they're gonna blow you up. So naughty. So mean. Okay, I got two red, one blue, three green, a clockwork. You know what? I've never seen this balloon there before. Croc! Flavio the thermal fish is trying to heat up the village! Everything will melt! Use balloon! Try to stop him! Okay. Oh, well, I guess that's the first boss. Flavio the thermal fish. Cool off Flavio with an ice cube, and then try to freeze the water. Oh my god, look at him. So how do I get an ice cube? Oh, there's one right here. Oh my god. <laughs> How do I pick it up, though? Oh! Apparently if you hit the ground, that's considered damage. That is weird. I think it's if you hold X? Oh, but you can hold X too long. Okay, so I gotta freeze the water. That means I guess I have to wait for Flavio to get down? Oh, it didn't work. Maybe I wasn't fast enough. Okay, I see what I gotta do. You have to hit him with an ice cube first, make him go underwater, throw another ice cube, and then you'll be able to do damage to him. But yeah, that is pretty weird that you take damage just for hitting the ground. And not just the attack. At least this attack is pretty easy to dodge if you keep moving. Doesn't even look like a fish, he looks like a melon to me. Yeah, just like a freaking cantaloupe fish. That is so bizarre. Oh, here it comes. Come the bubbles. Okay, wait for him to stop spitting. There you go. Now's my chance to get the last hit on him. And good night. Chill out. Oh my god, that's pretty morbid. 
It's like, oh no, I'm trapped. <laughs> I can't enjoy the sunlight anymore. Well, at least I get, got the full health. That's pretty convenient. Thank you, Croc. No problem. Oh, God damn it, I didn't want to talk to you. I just wanted to get the items. Alright, I'm definitely going to have to buy a blue one. Because I'm short on those. There we go. I bought it, so now let's buy another red one. Dude, you need to get some teeth. I'm just saying, it makes you look weird. You know what? Maybe one more blue one. I'm probably gonna hold off on heart pots for now, because eight seems like a pretty good number. Alright, now we got one last level to do for now, which will be the uh, Red Roger Ant one. You know, the one with all the bombs. And luckily I know where that level is. This time we're gonna beat that level, now that I've got full hearts. Wow, I actually got his name right. I thought I butchered it. <laughs> Who knew that I actually remember things? I had to give him the Cartman voice because he was obnoxious. That, and he pretty much talks like a sociopath. Next thing you know, he's gonna take Croc's parents and turn them into, like, meat for chili. I'm pretty sure there's a crocodile or alligator... Ow. Or alligator chili out there. Like, as an actual food. I'm sure it's pretty good, too. Like, people say it tastes like chicken, but I wouldn't know. I've never had it. I would like to at some point. Like, try an exotic meat. I don't know if I'll ever get the chance to, but that would be fun. Of course, grab the box, and then get to the door in time. We ran into this gimmick before, we know what this is all about. Just gotta make sure we do it right. And I remember the next part is, a. Uh, Pretty tight in terms of, like, time. But I know that I can actually keep going while he talks. So I didn't have to wait for him to finish. Okay, there we go. I was actually facing the correct way. What the? Oh, I didn't... I was holding down. I didn't think I would curve right. What? Okay, that's lame. Oh no. Oh my god. Here we go again. I swear to god. If I... That hits me now? I didn't think it did. Here we go again with this BS at this stage. Oh boy. <laughs> How am I struggling with this stage so much? <laughs> so I'm like stressed for time. Well, I guess that answers that question. And there's like so many ways to mess up. Like one drop and you're having to redo a whole lot. Well, by a whole lot, I mean maybe less than a minute's worth. So hyperbole for the win, but still. That is just downright annoying. I have to take my time to turn around, because if I don't take my time, I'm falling. Guaranteed. <laughs> and if I take too much time, I'm going to time out and die anyway. So you got to find that delicate balance. That's not easy to do.
I think there was three or four timers I had to hit. Yeah, see? Had this been like any other platformer that I'm used to, like say, Mario 64, Spyro, Crash, Banjo-Kazooie, games like that, I wouldn't have to take my time to turn around so much. Cause I'd be so used to like how it works here. There, you are now free. Well, at least I made it through this part with, like, less damage taken. Still not in the best situation, but it could have been a lot worse. See, now that didn't hit me! And I wasn't on a different plane! Weird. <laughs> I know, pick up the box, get to the door. It's a little different layout this time. But I know what's up. Now, I didn't make it far past the next part. So I have no idea how easy or how hard it is. Oh, come on! How did I mess up the jump? This is bullshit! I hate this stage! Wait, how come I can't do this one anymore? Is that because I saved the Gabo? That I can't explore the rest of the level now? Huh? Oh, okay. I guess I'm locked out for the rest of the level. Hope to god there wasn't a uh, colored crystal there. Oh, wow, an actual gong. Oh, wait a minute, what's this? Oh, wow. For one thing, there's a heart, and I don't know why I was dropping. Okay, let's see. Hopefully, I don't miss a color crystal because I got locked out of that stage. Because that would be stupid. So, of course, there's like another set of doors we gotta do. The layout to get there is slightly different, of course. There we go, let's see what this is all about. My rolling barrel will make Croc go kaboom. Rolling barrel? There's a rolling barrel now? Let me guess, if a rolling barrel hits me, I blow up instantly. Okay, we'll just wait for it to go the other way, and then I'll jump! Oh! Getting kind of nervous when I'm jumping while holding an explosive box. Just saying, not exactly the most comforting of situations. Ha ha ha! More rolling barrels! And my Dantini friends will make Croc go kaboom! Okay, it doesn't look like I have a time limit for this one. I just gotta watch out for these minions, though. And the barrels. Okay, I do see a crystal over there. I wanna get that first. If I can. Okay, that was frightening. See how close I was to the edge? <laughs> right, let's save the Gabo. And remember, if I do end up D technically dying here. I'm locked out of the rest of the stage. Might as well just grab whatever crystals I can. So I can actually buy more stuff later. Because I know I'm not going to get the 100. There was definitely way more crystals than they're getting now. Of 
Okay, now it's just this one. Over on that side. Oh! Uh, I missed a crate there. I would like to get it. Alright, good stuff. Good stuff. I'm gonna wait for him to shoot first. Is it just me or are the red Dantinis bigger than the other ones that also shoot magic? Watch out for my swinging fireballs! Oh no. What is this, Mario 1? Swinging fireballs? Oh, this has to be a gimmick. I guess they're adding a lot of them in like, each room. Oh, that's what they are! It's just literally one fireball in a pendulum motion. Oh, that's not too bad. I can deal with that. What the hell is this? Oh, I see what that's all about. I have to steer a platform across to get some crystals, and I gotta avoid the steam. And that's all there was to it. There. That's four Gobbo saved. And now we're on the third section. I'm tired of you, Croc. You won't succeed this time. We'll see about that. Personally, I'm surprised myself. <laughs> Alright, I better get a heart here, or at least a colored crystal. Oh look, there is one. Oh, 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 oh. What? Come on, that was always perfect. What the hell? What do you want from me? Oh wow, this one you have to be literally perfect. You have to take Corners sharper than a dagger. Oh my lord. Well, I got it. But that was my last clockwork gobbo. No, I had one left. Why did I think I only had two? I actually had three. So I did have a second. I have, rather, a third chance. Aha! There it is. Okay, there's the fireball. Alright, that part was easy. Just a few jumps, and there was literally one obstacle. Okay, we can go this way. You know, let's go this way first. This fuse is gonna blow your gobble friend sky high! Oh, I gotta chase a fuse. Or actually, I gotta race the fuse. Well, I'm way ahead of it now, so I got that going for me. But I can't afford to slow down too much. So how does the fuse even get through here if there's no floor? And I see no rope. What? What was that? Uh, that was weird. Did I go this way yet? No. Oh great, another fuse to catch up to. I don't think the fuse itself hurts you, though. Yep, 
Yeah, I'm not gonna bother to go into all the other rooms. There's really no point. What on earth? They're not asking me to do that kind of platforming, are they? They can't be serious. Or maybe that's just the wrong way. Alright, let's try this again. I swear to God, if I actually have to do tiny ass platforms just to save a gobbo, that's way too early for tough platforming like that. Okay, it wants me to go this way. This way seems a lot easier. Wait. Hold on a second. Did I just loop? This is all one loop, isn't it? Oh, the gobble's done for now. Make no mistake about it. So they did want me to do all the platforming. Oh my god, they're they are serious. Oh, that is evil. That is beyond And I I messed up on that. Oh, you ass munchers. I did all the stage and I messed up on the last stretch. Oh, that's just stupid. Oh my god. And now I gotta buy another clockwork gobble because I have none now. Well, that's a kick in the teeth. I have to redo the entire stage for a third time. Oh. Like, it was one thing for me to show you the entire stage for, like, the second time I'm doing it. Well, I didn't get far. But the third time? No. I'm not going to cut ahead to, like, the last part. Just to save you all the pain. And save me the pain as well. Time out, everybody. Alright, several minutes later, I'm back at this spot where I kept dying to. And it turns out, if you get the Golden Gobbo in a stage, whether you beat it or not, you still have it. So I didn't have to get all the uh, colored crystals again. I still gotta get past this one stage for, though. And for some reason, it's just been my Achilles heel. Wow, I can't even make it to the jump. Like, remember, I gotta hop across tiny-ass platforms to get to the gobbo. I can't believe they were serious when they thought of this. It's like, you're already under pressure where you gotta catch up to a fuse, and then you gotta, like, hop across near pixel-perfect jumps. They were out of their minds when they came up with this concept. Well, I actually did it. But now I gotta run across all this. Oh my lord. Oh my god! Oh! I fell off the ramp or fell off the path. Are you serious? Are you serious? I made it past the small platforms, but yet this wide snaking road, I mess up. And I don't even think of Anya, you could have just like tried to jump. I didn't trust myself not to fall off from jumping. Now I can't trust myself from falling off while walking. <laughs> You know what, I'll take the hit, that's fine. Plus, I don't know if I'll even reach that far. There, I did it. 
So now I gotta make it past this jerk. Oh, there's another Gobbo. You have fallen into my trap, little croc. Take this! Huh? What's wrong? Gobbo's rewire bomb! Roger, go kaboom! Oh no! I'm surprised that Gobbo did not get caught in the collateral blast. Oh, what? I thought I was going to advance the text, not skip it. I pressed X. Lava Lamp Larry. Well, I guess we don't know what they're saying now. Oh, is that him? Let me guess, I think I need to use this ice cube against him. Two. Two what? You can actually throw the ice cube at him. Okay, then what? Oh, I see what you gotta do. You actually gotta seal all the, the lava. That way you can actually keep him trapped. It'll affect where he can spawn, too. God damn it. I don't understand all the twos, though. Are you kidding me? I'm one hit from death now. Oh, he killed me? I don't even think he touched me there. Okay, it doesn't seem like a hard boss. It's just a matter of figuring out. <laughs> Scary noise in Lava Lamp Larry's shop. Gobble's worried about Larry. Crap, check it out. Alright, there's the tree. So that's where his shop is. Scary noises in Lava Lamp Larry's shop. Gobbo's worried about Larry. Croc, check it out. <laughs> oh god, Baron Dante again. Hey, you go in the lava. I don't care. Now you get an unkempt beard. Chucking fireballs. All right, I'll just go in. <laughs> Croc just walks in so casually. It's like a giant lava lamp Larry throwing fireballs that destroys the trees. All right, I'm going in now. Wish me luck. I don't know where it's going to appear. Okay, I gotta start pushing. Oh! Oh, come on! How do you hit me there? One. Um. Wait a minute. I think I know what this is all about. So I guess any. Fo How did he get a second throw? I see what it is. Anything with a any hole with the two. Can get sealed with the big ice cube. Meanwhile, the uh, small ice cube can get up to one. So I gotta use two small ice cubes. Are you kidding me? What's up with the hitbox? It leaves a little to be desired. I gotta try to lure him away from the fireball. I mean, the ice cube. Oh, 
It seems like every second time he pops out of a hole, he's getting ready to shoot some fireballs. Okay, that's fast enough. And he throws two at a time. Are you kidding me? He got out in time? Oh. No. Oh my god, I died to his beard. Oh. I almost had him. That's probably the one annoying thing. There's very little opportunities to get your health back to full. Like either you buy a heart pot, or you go take on a boss where you likely to get a hundred crystals. And then you're just like, you gotta hope that if you don't do any of those things, that you're immaculate. Well, somewhat immaculate. Three out of eight hearts is a terrible starting point, though. Especially since, for some weird reason, I walk past the ice cube without even pushing it. Okay, that time it didn't even melt the ice. Why? I think I'll get one of the far ones. No, he's gonna pop up. Alright, that's two. God, sometimes it's hard to tell what's happening because the camera ain't the greatest. Okay, now that's set to one. You have to remember to jump after the first fireball. Because the other one's coming. Okay, this should actually go really well. Oh my god, this camera is so bad! Oh, great, he melted it. Alright, wait for him to do his thing. <sighs> Again, it's mostly the camera that ends up being the issue for this kind of fight. Now it can be an ice cube of any size that can finally beat him. Ooh, almost jumped into that one like a dumbass. Is that it? Alright, we finally beat him! I thought you were in like some two. What the hell? Suppose I can just chisel you out or something. Or toss you in the lava. That should help, right? <laughs> Thank you, Croc! We're saving Larry! Croc did so well! Croc should get a medal! Maybe King will have one? Tell you what, though! You should see Swap Me Pete! Pete's a bit odd, but a real nice guy! He'll help Croc out! I mean, I could... But I think I'd like to go check out the uh, bonus level for getting the five Golden Gobbos. So why don't we just go ahead and do that now? While we're here. I suppose this is the right way. Nope. It's not in the area with the kids. It's over on this side. So this video might go a little bit long because of, you know, my ineptitude for that stage. But at least it's over with. Maybe the rest of the levels will feel like a breeze. <laughs> Cossack Tribe. Secret Ice Cap. Well, at least I'm doing this with full health. And I don't think I need to use any special items to get what I need. 
All I gotta do is just get myself a puzzle piece. Question is, where do I go to get it? Who's chugging barrels? Huh? And how do the barrels just manage to curve on their own? Look! They're not even hitting anything, and they just magically curve. Ah. Okay, that was dumb. I took two straight hits there. And how would I have known where the barrel was? The camera was giving me a top-down view. Plus, I thought if I did jump, it would hit me from a bounce. So now there's no barrel. Oh, but there was a rock slide. That I should have just known was going to happen. <laughs> okay. Whatever you say, video game. Great. Uh, uh, okay, got it. Just in time to do it all again. <laughs> Amazing. It's this way, right? Am I lined up? Yes. Uh, oh, that one was a bit high. <laughs> I was getting kind of concerned. I mean, there should be no way I can't get 100 crystals. But they're pretty much all in crates, right? Unless one of the crates is completely out of the way. And there might be some at the very end. None of them has required me to do a triple jump, at least. So there's that. Really, I thought I was going to see more barrels. I'm kind of sh shocked. I thought those barrels would be coming back. But no, I can just keep going as is. Oh, there's one. Oh god, there's two. Oh god, there's three. What on earth? Oh, see, that's what I was worried about. That they were going to hit me even if I jumped. And that's why I didn't like the camera angle. Because there's no way of me knowing. Guess I have to do all of these? I'm not sure. Or maybe one of the pads has the key and the others are just busts. Okay, that's the key. Question is... How the hell do I get up there? Wait, do all of these go the same way? There's the puzzle piece. So I'm guessing if I go to the left, I might find a crate that reveals platforms that will allow me to get to the key. Yeah, see? It's right here. Okay, so I gotta do that first. Yeah, there they are. Now they're going that way. What the hell? That guy, that guy came back? Good for him, I guess. Don't quit your day job. Too bad your day job entails dying to the croc. That guy must have smelled what the croc was cooking. Oh man, that good old wrestling angle back in the day <laughs> when the uh, when DX mocked the Nation of Domination and one of them was wearing blackface. Oh, that was not a good time. <laughs> now, of course, many years back, that was pretty rough too when you think about it. But man, they got all away with a lot back then. Anyway, here's the puzzle piece. 
Alright, so that means I am done with Cossack Village now. Alright, good stuff. Cause I'm sure that place was done with me. You are doing so well! The Cossacks are in your debt! They never forget a friend, like my most humble self. But you must continue your journey. I think you might want to go to the land of the Cave Gabos. They are a most silly bunch, but they might be able to help you. I swap me Pete, we'll take you there. Oh yes. Oh boy, we're going back in time to the cave, caveman village. Really? <laughs> oh, who are you? You're not mechanic or Dantini. I'm Croc. What's a mechanic? Ah, never mind. Swap me Pete sent me here. Ah, that solved riddle. Gobble's kind of busy. But look around if you like. Uh, okay. I'll probably do that in the next episode, because I'm running long on this part. Anyway, see you there, everyone. Thanks for watching.